this is Uncle Momo's Music Reaction Channel, where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. And this time we are going over to Japan and checking out Yarasobi. And I think this track is called Berry Berry. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Now, there isn't it much to go on in his description page. But I'm going to highlight something. It's all in Japanese. So I'm going to have to go to our luscious leader, Google Translator. And see what our luscious leader is going to translate it into. It could be nothing. It could be something. I don't know. We'll see. It says, synopsis. The world has the world was beautiful, even more than before I met you. And it's got Nemo, the student council pre um, president of Orient Academy in the Pal is it Paldia region. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Decides to guide a Anna, a transfer student who has moved to the neighborhood to a school during Pokemon battles. Shortly after they meet, Nemo seeks something sparkling deep in Anna's eyes. Okay. The story of Nemo and Anna, a treasure hunt drawn from unique perspective by a talented author, Anyo um, Takeda. So that's what I have. And that's in the description page. I think there's a little bit more to be fair. There is a little bit more. And I'm not too sure if this is just going to be something of the... The participation of the song and the creators of the, the, the are exceeded. I hate when it exceeds. Let's take that out. Let's see if that gives it. Right, okay. So it's Ayo Toka, born in Tokyo. Um, is it Tayoko? Is that how I pronounce it? In 1992 and in 2013, Secret Words of Eighth Japanese Japan Love Story awarded was Today I Breathe from You. Okay. Um, the sound, if you're. you're Euphorium, there you go. <laughs> Series has made it into the TV anime and was be, became a hot topic in 2021. And uh, it received the Ijai um, Yoshikawata Waka, sorry, prize for the writers. Okay. Um, and it's a book, it includes two liars, the road with you, and the series. Um, and there's a Nan Kettle diary about to um, Kyoto's Cats and Books. So she's wrote quite a few, or he's wrote quite a few. I don't know if that's a he or she. Apologies for that. I was into Pokemon when I was young, but I didn't follow it on. And and so I'm not a die-hard Pokemon, but I do know Pokemon. I remember when, look, look Pokemon's gone through a number of ups and downs of crazies around the whole planet. And it's absolutely a wonder that it's still surviving to this day. This must be one of the longest animes or toy structures that there has been, apart from Barbie and Ken. But, yeah, so there's going to be new... new um, members of Pokemon, younger generation, as well as the older generation that remembers when Pokemon came out, but kind of sadly, you know, sadly died away from it or diluted away from it, but still have Pokemon in the background. Come on, who can't forget about Pikachu? That's the most famous Pokemon, that well-known Pokemon in the world, in the whole planet, you know? So, yes, I know what it's about. That's what I'm saying. So look, let's go straight into my next reaction of today, shall we? So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> Now, I'm going to put the subtitles on, but I'm sure it doesn't, it's not going to make any sense. It's just going to say music, music, of course, so I might just edit it out. It's semi-retro, isn't it? Stop it there for a moment. Look, you guys got to understand the luxury that you, um, the younger generations, are living in at right now. Because I remember when Pokemon came out, 
and the anime around it, even though as fantastic as it was back in them days, it's come a long, long way to what I'm seeing right now. I mean, if you get somebody, who, <laughs> I can't imagine, if you get someone who's like 90 years old and look at the cartoons now to when the cartoons they was looking at when they were aged, and I think like, that we're talking about Disney when they first came out, when Mickey Mouse was like a, I don't know, a, a stick drawing of some sort. Um, and I don't even, and, and not even colour was invented yet. You know, I think colour came in about 1972 ish or 1970, between 1972 and 90, around about that era of time. That's when colour was introduced into TV. And back in then, there was only three channels, and certainly over in the UK anyway. So looking at these anime now, it is like futuristic. It is, uh, we are in the future, but looking, we are in the present, but I'm looking at the future, man. And it's like, what? is going on here man we just that much closer uh, one step closer to humanoids i mean that hollow life generation is really 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 close it's just unreal but you know this is next generation anime man i'm gonna go back just a little bit i'm just re re reminiscing on the days when cartoons wasn't like this <laughs> to about say here Sunset and everything just looks real as anything. I'm glad there's a music like this. I suppose we have to cater for the younger generation, don't we? This is it. I'm trying to figure out what kind of genre style of music you put this in. I'll say R and B, but it's much more than that. It's pop R and B with something else in it. You can hear it. It's more of the um. It's almost like the 80s, 90s computer games. That's remixed into this. That's what gives it the retro vibe. Is there a creature that's not in it? That's in the anime, but it's not in the music video. Ooh, look at that. I forgot what that's called. right now man so that was Yorisobi with Berry Berry um taken from the Pokemon now I've I thought long and hard about this like I, I was into the Pokemon and you know the, the Pokemon cards and then they came out the Pokemon um on the app when you can walk around the, the Google Street and everything else and collect Pokemon stuff everywhere and everywhere but overall it is about a fighting game. It's as simple as that. And no matter how much you want to tie up in a lovely red bow and ribbon, it's still a battle fighting game. It's a fighting game. Um, I, I just want everybody to... I, I know everybody's aware of that and it's brilliant and, you know, it's it's lovely and amazing the way how they do it. These creatures are absolutely uh, adorable and everything that comes with it, you know, you know more than I do. You are diehard fans. But certain parts of me is thinking, well, look, this is a fighting game, a violent fighting game with special, like, they're, you know, instead of us fighting, we've got these creatures that we've, caught, we, we, you know, we capture in a, in a ball and we let out to battle another, another creature. And it's, I, I look, we are simple humans. And it seems to me in this day and age, um, Nothing doesn't get more hyper than a battle game of any kind of nature, whether it be a, a battle of pens and two pens fighting or two pencils fighting or someone's fighting. And if there's a gain in this kind of battle, um, I mean, we all, all of us has got this kind of warrior sense inside of us, you know, 
Um, but I was looking at it and I'm thinking one part of me is like, you know, this is absolutely amazing. And we have come so far away from animes and what we like and everything was going into um, the Pokemon and world and the Pokemon city and the Pokemon enterprise. It's absolutely amazing and fantastic. But the, and the other half of me is like, these are two creatures battling each other. And I'm like, where's the like humanity in that? Um, and then that's me going too deep into it. But, you know, a, a top, a top of the surface, I don't even know if there's a computer, uh, I'm sure there's a computer game, a battle, you know, like the way it's like, you know, Street Fighter and Double Dragon and all those amazing um, anime Street Fighter games. Is there a Pokemon battles game on the computer? If there is, put me in the right direction. I've, all I've seen is films of the Pokemon and the, the games and obviously the app on, on your phones when you picking around and all that stuff. But I, I don't think for any moment that I have actually... Oh, and the cartoon of the Pokemon. Um, but I don't think I've actually played a Pokemon game where we're battling someone. So loads of questions. Feel for thought. Please share your thoughts um, by all means. And I'll definitely reply back. Until next time. I salute you. Boom.